Hey guys, what's up? It's Insorius Gaming here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Call of Duty video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the uh, zombies in Advanced Warfare and what I want from it, and then further DLC. Um, so as you know, in the end of the map Riot, um, there is a cutscene um, for the uh, zombies' little sneak peek kind of thing. And I also kind of wanted to go over why I think they actually decided to do this and why there was so little in the actual game instead of a full new game mode for it. So I heard a uh, video say like once once they finish the core um, the core game like campaign multiplayer and extra survival, they were thinking about stuff they could add to the game and zombies was one of them, which didn't really make a lot of sense to me. So what I was thinking is that once they released the extra survival trailer, they uh, they realized that nobody wanted that that extra game mode and that they really screwed up and they should just finally give up and, and just add zombies and just try and make it something that's somewhat interesting so i think that's what they really did but i'm not too sure maybe the other one was actually right and i'm just an idiot but um that's just a thought <clears throat> but i wanted to uh, go over a couple things i wanted in the DLC because it, I believe it is uh, confirmed that it's going to be featured in the DLC. Now I'm not too sure if it's going to be its own game mode or if they're going to make their own maps for it or if they're just going to be having a little feature in the extra survival maps. Which in that case I really don't like and I think that's just kind of a, a debug move on them to get us all hyped for something and they just, just throw it back in our face and just explode it pretty much. Um, <clears throat> but I'm hoping it's going to be its own game mode first of all. Second of all, I hope they make separate maps for it, like, basically, like, how they had in Black Ops 2, the, uh, the four maps for multiplayer, and then the one zombies map. Also, I would like it if they kind of, like, went off of the, uh, cutscene, like, that's the beginning of the zombie apocalypse, pretty much, and those zombies that were there at Riot infected everybody else, and then there are the survivors, and they're not a part of, like, Atlas or, any, or anything associated with the army. Um, and they're just kind of their own four survivors. And it's a four-player game mode. They're just their four survival survivors. And you can make a storyline off of those characters. Kind of like what Black Ops 2 did and Black Ops 1 and World at War did. Um, I just think that would have been really cool if they, uh, if they had their own set survivors that didn't really have anything um, to do with the army. And... Uh, like had names too because other than soldier welcome back soldier or whatever um i think that'd be pretty cool if they could make their own characters and build a storyline off of them also storyline is another thing i would like to see a little bit of a, like easter eggs or storylines very similar to the actual call of duty uh Treyarch zombies um but maybe maybe what they'll do is change it up a little bit and it'll actually become good but as of right now this is kind of what i'm looking forward to and i'm hoping for um i do like how the zombies move um they actually move pretty fast but i don't think that's gonna be too big of a problem um because i feel like they die really fast and that kind of balances it out and also guns depending on what kind of guns you can get that will also balance it out as well and um perk machines kind of like i don't how they do it in exo survival you can like go to your exo suit or whatever uh and it's kind of like a stand Sort of how it was in MW3. And, um, what I was thinking is, like, maybe have mini perk machines, or, like, mini, um, things you can pick up throughout the map, or carrier packages kind of thing. Like, you can ask for something, and it'll, you know, kind of come to you, I guess. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I don't know how they would do it, but that's just kind of a, something you would do, like, because in multiplayer, you can get, um, perks and care packages, I believe. And they'll last you throughout the game. But something that kind of doesn't really lead it to exo survival. Because I kind of would really like this like game mode to breach off and branch off and um, be kind of its own thing. And they work on it from there. And then maybe later they'll just give up on exo survival or they'll just add the multiplayer maps to it. I also would like to see kind of like maybe zombie weapons um like and i and i don't what i mean by that is like i don't want to see everything from the multiplayer game just copy and paste it into the zombies game mode like have something like something from another game like an mp7 or something i i don't really know that's just an idea to throw out there 
because for example when they did uh, black ops 2 zombies this is the one i really remember it was um it was the barrett 50 cal and you could get it in the um you could get it in the box and uh, that's not in multiplayer so what I mean by it, it could be one from a different Call of Duty, it's just not in that game's core multiplayer. So it would just be kind of um, kind of cool to see that, like, semi-zombie exclusive weapons. I don't know, I just like the idea. But that's kind of about all. If you guys have any extra ideas to expand off of what I said, I would love to hear them in the comments below. And if you could also subscribe to the channel to see some upcoming Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 2 Call of Duty Zombies, just Call of Duty Zombies in general content come out on the channel. I'd really appreciate that. So please do that. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Sensorious, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, and have a great day.